Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about evaluating expressions involving the six trigonometric ratios of special angles. So we already, we already have the video for the derivation in, on how to get the value of sine 30 degrees, cosine 30 degrees, or in other words, the exact value of the six trigonometric ratios of special angle. And as you can see, we have a table of values for the six trigonometric ratios, including their exact values. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So this is an example of our problem today, the main counter natin. We have here evaluate sine 30 degrees plus cosine 45 degrees. When you encounter this kind of problem, uh, it says here evaluate, meaning we are asked to find a specific value for this given expression in which the given is sine 30 degrees plus cosine 45 degrees. Do not worry guys, this is not that complicated as long as you already know or you memorized already the exact value of the six trigonometric ratios of special angles. And to help us, we have a given table. Okay? So let's start with number one. First is sine 30 degrees. So for us to evaluate this, we need to get the value of sine 30 degrees. So this is sine and 30 degrees, so meaning the value of that is one half. So we will substitute one half to replace sine 30 degrees. This is one half plus cosine 45 degrees in which Using our given table here, this is cosine and 45 degrees, in which the value of, of that is square root of 2 over 2. Now, what we need to do here is to simplify this fraction. As you can see, we have a denominator, so we can easily copy the denominator and make it 1. Copy the denominator 2, and then add the numerator 1 plus square root of 2. And to add them, or their sum is equal to 1 plus the square root of 2. And this is the value of the given expression sine 30 degrees plus cosine 45 degrees. Now let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, we are given cosecant 30 degrees minus the cotangent 45 degrees. So again, to evaluate this, let's get the value or the exact value of cosecant 30 degrees. And this is it, which is 2. We will replace this by 2 minus cotangent 45 degrees. This is your cotangent in 45 degrees. And as you can see, the value of it is simply 1. And 2 minus 1, that would give you the answer of 1. And this is the value for item number 2. And as you can see, napakadali na ng process on how to do this as long as marunong kang uh, magmanipulate ng, ng expression or magsimplify ng expressions. So let's move on with item number 3. For number 3, we're given 2 sine 30 degrees and second 60 degrees. Yung dito, maninibago kayo. Meron tayong coefficient na 2. So, nahan. Meaning, you will multiply it for the val by the value of sine and second 60 degrees. First, we need to copy 2. 2. And then the value of sine 30 degrees. So, we have here sine 30 degrees, which is 1 half. So, gawa tayo ng... Uh, gamit tayo ng parenthesis, 1 half. Again, this 1 half, it came from the value of sine 30, degree, 30 degrees. Next, ayusin ko lang, times 1 half. Times yung ating second 60 degrees. Second, we have your second 60 degrees, ito siya, okay. As you can see, the value is simply 2. So, multiply natin sila. 
So, actually, pag nag-multiply kayo, numerator to numerator lang naman, 2 times 1 times 2, magiging 4 over 2. Pero, mag-cancel out na lang kayo. You can cancel this, cancel this, and then matitira na lang ay yung 1 times 2. 1 times 2 is simply 2. And as you can see, given this complicated expression, what we have here as the final answer is simply 2. That's it, guys. Now, let's move on with item number 4. For number 4, we are given sine 60 degrees divided by tangent 30 degrees. Now, as for this given expression, we need to get the value of sine 30, uh, sine 60 degrees, rather. We have sine 60 degrees, which is this square root of 3 over 2. Again, Square root of 3 over 2, it came from the value of this. And then over, kasi meron tayong fractional or bar, over tangent 30 degrees. So we have tangent 30 degrees. Ito siya. Okay. Ang kanyang value ay ito. Square root of 3. Tama ba? Tama. Square root of 3 over 3. And to simplify this, ang gagawin mo lang dito, Copy mo to. We have square root of 3 over 2 times yung reciprocal nito. Diba, nakita nyo division tayo. Magpuproceed tayo sa multiplication. Na kung saan, when you multiply this denominator, kung rin mo yung kanyang reciprocal, if this is square root of 3 over 3, ang kanyang reciprocal is 3 over square root of 3. And upon multiplying this, you can cancel out square root of 3 and square root of 3. And what will remain here is this and this. Therefore, the final answer is simply 3 over 2. Ito na mismo yung sagot dito. Ibig sabihin guys, sine 60 degrees over tangent 30 degrees is simply equal to 3 over 2. And this is the final answer guys. So I hope guys na natutuoy sa mismong video natin on how to evaluate expressions involving the exact value of the 6 degree metric ratios of special angles. And you can watch the previous videos created related to this para mas patutunan nyo or mas maging uh, well-versed kayo when it comes to the 6 degree metric ratios. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!